SayItInACard.com is an online greeting card company that delivers right to your front door. Visit our website, www.SayItInACard.com. You can read the cards, order the cards, and we ship them directly to you. If you feel it, we say it in a card. We have breakup cards, troubled relationship cards, troubled friendship cards, and of course, all of the traditional cards as well, from birthday to Mother's Day. So again, visit us at www.SayItInACard.com. Free shipping for a limited time. I was involved briefly with a married man who believed he had the courage to leave his wife to be with me and to live his truth. This isn't the typical story of a married man promising to leave his wife for a secret lover. Rather, this is a story in part about a gay man who knew he was gay before he got married but chose to marry a woman because he didn't know how to break free. Rocky and I met on a gay social media site three months after I returned to the East Coast to live and just 11 months after he was married. At the time we met, he was living and working in Dubai as a contractor for the government on a military base while his wife was stationed in Tallahassee, Florida, where they had a home. In one of the first messages he sent me, Rocky shared that he was married, but that he had regrets. He explained that he had come out to his mother and siblings when he was 18 years old. He said that to listen to more of One Thing for Certain, Two Things for Sure, a memoir continued, visit audible.com. Lady Stafford. Where is this lady? There you go. Girl, there girl. you go, Dees. Girl, you put you put the wrong one up in there. I was like, we're here. I don't understand why you gotta have all of these uh logins. Like what you got why you gotta be in why you don't gotta start have any cameras in, in the thing? Don't start your shit with me tonight. Don't start. Lady Stafford. Don't start with me tonight. Why you gotta have two gotta different have two devices logged in. in. Don't worry about it. I'm here, right? You see me, I see you, we see each she, other, honey. I swear she's so important. Girl, you're important, honey. That's why you have me on here. Oh, girl, you got you a new view today? What? What? Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> oh, you turned it on. Uh, we were watching the um, the Fenty. Um, I have an echo. Just a little bit. I'm not. I'm on the internet through my phone. I'm not on the Wi-Fi. Let me see. Here she go with this. What about now? I'm just trying to get on the Wi Fi. This Wi Fi, man. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I hear you good. There still is an echo. echo. Really? It's probably this probably damn service that we're using. Mm -hmm. anyway, anyway, good day, thinkers, good day, thought leaders, progressives, and dreamers. Craig, 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 yeah, Keon, Ke Ke it's probably the two, two damn devices you, you got. got. Turn one of them shits off. It's not. If I hear the echo, I only hear it when you talk. You got volume on two devices? No. It's not even that. So look, even if I turn off one, I still hear it through you. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I it is. And I don't want to end it and then start all over again. I exited and I exited came back in. Again. I'll try again. Oh, You all hit the like button while I'm doing this. Oh, 
Okay, what about now? You still hear echo? Can you hear me? I hear you, but do you still hear echo? No, I don't hear an echo, and I moved that other damn device out of there that you had logged in there. That's probably why I oh. had an echo. I do the same thing every every week, bitch. Well, I don't know what you did tonight, but it had an echo. It, I, I removed that other device he had in there. They tell me, yeah, that's better. See? Good day, thinkers, thought leaders, progressors, and dreamers. I'm Craig the Writer Stewart, and this is the Facebook and YouTube live versions of So Much to Say. These are my thoughts in my voice on black shit, white shit, and everything in between. <laughs> hey, Keon. Keon, I haven't talked to you all week. All week, bitch. All week. I haven't talked to you all week. Like, today was the first time that I talked to you. And I thought about it, but you know, I had a busy week. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that you, you did. did. You still hear Echo Craig? No. All right, I got two devices on, bitch, so it was you. I didn't, I didn't bring it into the stream. You ain't bring it into the stream in that yeah, time. But, but, I, but I had you in there before, and so now, good night. Whatever. I got it out of there. Mm-hmm. But anyway, uh, but yeah, I had a busy week, and so um, I just didn't get a chance. You know what I'm saying? Like, I talked to my mom a few times. I did talk to her, because, you know, if I don't talk to her for a couple of days, she starts feeling like she's neglected. Mm-hmm. So I did, you know, speak to her a couple of times, but um, what is he over there doing? Um, but yeah, so um, I tried to invite Keon and George with us to go to um, zip lining this weekend. What y'all got to do this weekend that y'all don't want to zip line with us? Bitch, you don't have to question me, ho. I, we ain't coming. Not this weekend. Bitch, I got your address. Don't let me get on my broomstick and come down there and fuck you up. Because if I got to come outside of the, if I got to come outside of the Metroplex out of two eighty five, I'm gonna whip your ass real good. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna do what, bitch? Whip your ass real good. No, I'm gonna knock you off that broomstick, you old asshole. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna tell you what one of my friends uh, used to, my friend Greg. He says all the time. He said, "I'm not trying to say I'm the baddest bitch alive." He said, I'm not trying to say I can whip everybody's ass, but you're going to definitely know I was on yours. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah, yeah, so what were you – so you had a busy week this this week, too? Because, I mean, I didn't Let hear me from you. Craig, oh, my God. So it was getting close to the end of the – well, it was the end of the month, number one. Then um, they had messed she up swear, with stuff. She with swears she running a Fortune 500 company hotel. Girl, don't worry about it. But then um, – Girl, that hotel is two notches with... up from the La Quinta. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, like fuck you. <laughs> Look, so then we had uh, some stuff messed up with renovations and stuff. So then, oh, really? definitely. Also, each week I've been staying to work till like six thirty, seven, trying to get stuff done. Then trying to get stuff, paperwork and stuff done for the end of the month. So I just been busy with work and coming home and going straight to sleep, bitch. I've been asleep at nine o'clock. Really? Let me let me pull Shauna together real quick. She told me, Craig, I hope my book was in that pile that you shipped out today. Niece, you should have gotten an email. I sent it. You should have gotten your tracking details. It should let you know. You know, you, you get an email. You get an email when you purchase through the website. <laughs> you get an email saying that your, your package is on yeah. the Not through the cash app. And not if it's gifted. <laughs> but you get an email when you purchase through the website. <laughs> <laughs> when it's not what, Craig? When, it, when it's not gifted. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of gifting books, if you'd like to give some books, go ahead and cash up over here and let me know how many books there are, and I'll go ahead and gift them. So wait, girl, you all right? Why so jittery tonight, girl? You know, girl, you keep turning and moving and shit, girl. You all right? You had your coffee or something? Hey, Royal, shut up! I don't drink no coffee. Hey, Royal, what's that blood ache? Um, the books are 20, and the most recent book is 25. Just visit CraigTheWriterStewart.com. Let me go ahead and put that little banner down there for for, for him so he can see where to purchase. But no, um, I'm good. I just, um, we were watching the Fenty thing. Mm -hmm. um, but then we, um, I had to jump on this live. There it is. There's the link down there. But yeah, so, um, oh, thank you, Brittany. She posted it as well. But um, yeah, we were watching that, and then um, mm -hmm. I came up here to do this. I had a bunch of orders that had to go out today. You know, we. Um... Oh, you upstairs tonight? Yeah, I'm upstairs. Oh, that's why I look different, Ryan. Yeah. 
Y'all create the upgraded bitch. He is upstairs, honey. When, before I ever let them see Carlton, like I used to, I used to pot, I mean, you know, do the lives from up here because they didn't know mm -hmm. this room. You know what, Craig? Let me tell you. This whole week, I've been seeing throwback videos of me and you. It's been like the last week and week and a half. I've been seeing just like throwbacks of me. Y'all say, damn, bitch, we've been doing this a long time. It's been over a year. Two. It's been two years. Mm hmm. Because okay. I was looking at videos back in 2018. Oh, Royal Blue 87. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because a couple of them have come up. Um, yeah, because before I was streaming on YouTube, the videos. It were, was just Facebook. It was just Facebook. Because some of them I have posted as throwbacks on YouTube, like on the mm -hmm. days that I can't go live. Mm -hmm. I'll post a throwback video from Facebook for the people who are on YouTube that, you know, didn't see those videos. Right. And I know I posted one of them, at least one of them of us. Um, mm. And I have to kind of like look at the first couple minutes to see if I was, if, if we were talking to YouTube and Facebook and those, those from two years ago, it was just Facebook. Facebook. Right. Yeah. It's so one that I got in my phone. Um, we had did, it was just on mine. I saw a post it on my channel, bitch. It, when I tell you it was funny, I'm going to send it to you. Really? Girl, well, I tell you, we was going at it, bitch. I didn't stream it. I need to have that. Yeah, I'm a shit. Bitch, we was going at it. We were sitting on the bench. Rita, I don't ship the goalies, so I can't answer your questions about shipping for the goalies. I just offer the 10% off and the free shipping. I don't. They, they don't ship from Impeccable Works. How many times I got to tell her that? Mm. You know, because Impeccable Works, the um, furloughed all the... Um, all the employees, so the owner here, the owner you know, here is you know, working. COVID hit. COVID hit. We don't have no money for um for employees and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the owner's um been working himself. Right, and you know, morning, noon, to, and night. Just trying to make a dollar out of fifteen cents over here. You know, the shipping because oh. I was on the phone all day today with um damn FedEx. Mm -hmm. About things, you know, about stuff that didn't get delivered, and just just somebody was um somebody at the job was complaining about them. They said they've been doing horrible, having horrible service. Yeah. So um, but anyway, but that was that. But yeah, I didn't talk to you at all this week because like Tuesday I had a very long day. I had to mm -hmm. week started at eight a.m. and I didn't leave there until three thirty. Really? And um, and, you know, Madison had posted it all across her social media, so I'm sure everybody know now. Like, I was really trying to be hush-hush about it, but um, I'm so really... It it's, it's really, really, it's really interesting. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have sh shared some stuff on my Patreon. Mm -hmm. For those who may not know, like, we're, we're filming a... It's a reality show. It's about Madison's life and um, all of the people that work with her and then what we all have individually going on. And so Derek J and I filmed together, um, you know, because we do our podcasts and stuff. So they filmed us. And mm -hmm. then I filmed with um, everybody the uh, Tuesday. And so it was like a long day. It was like, like I said, 8.15 to like 3.30 in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to have to tell you, like, it's okay in the moment. You know what I'm saying? It's really, I think these these live videos have really prepared me for the cameras. Because it's like cameras. That, like, they, they, they lit up her house. You know what I'm saying? The lighting is there. They did a scene where they, they put cameras on my car, like on the hood, inside the car, above the car, like looking mm -hmm. in the car. Um, I, know, I know they shot some scenes with Madison in the car. Um, I think they got a piece of us doing the, um, the morning show this morning. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Uh, oh, and then I had a meeting with... Um, with uh, Legra, which is Madison's manager. Mm -hmm. And um, I had a meeting with her and then I did a phone call with Oliver. You know what I'm saying? So it's just it's just interesting, like in it, you know, but I think that doing these have prepared me and got kind of got me accustomed right. to, to having like the boom operator and the mic people and, you know, just whatever. But it's just curious. I mean, it's just, it's crazy because I'm, I'm still curious to know what it's going to look like. Um, when they air it when they air it because you don't know what what it's going to air you know you don't know what it's going to look like yeah. you don't know what you're going to look like you know what i'm saying anthony says i need to order a few books for a friend because he ain't getting mine anthony what you can do is when you if you purchase the books for him just go to the website and then for the sh in the shipping details put his information you will put your information 
in the um, billing information, but then put his details, like his name and his address for where you want me to ship it. And that's whose name I'll sign. So hopefully that helps. But yeah, so I'm just curious to see, you know, what it's going to look like. And um, yeah, I'm excited too. I, I'm almost nervous though, for real. Really? But I just, I just try not to think about it. You know what I'm saying? I just try not to think about it. I pray about it consistently. Look at Derek J. Tell me what you're talking about. I'll just read you what we lying about today. Look, I got a group chat with my friends. This is the first thing I said. I say, what y'all lying about in here today? Okay. Um, let me, let me, Derek, you want to come on here or what? Or you just in here talking shit in the comments? Uh, Kimberly said that reality show is about to take you out to a whole different level. I mean, mm -hmm. that's what I'm hopeful for. I'm hopeful in a good way, in a good but way. But then you're going to have people looking at you. You think they comment in these goddamn comments. You think they comment You just now. wait till the world see. Okay. Yes, we will get to see the episodes first. I think we'll get to see them like a few days before, Um, you know, before it airs. Mm -hmm. But I, we still don't know like when it's going to air. We don't know like what month. We're filming until November. Like before, just before Thanksgiving. Remember, we how many episodes is gonna be? The first season initially is gonna be six. Now mm -hmm. they could add add to that, but mm -hmm. right now it's six. They said it's gonna be six, but we had started filming in 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 March, and then COVID happened, and then right. we started filming again in September. So we're gonna film in, film through November, to, through the first half of November. But I don't know when. I, I know it's gonna air next year, but I don't know what. You know when? I don't know if it's gonna be in the yeah. spring. You know, I don't know. Oh, bitch! That's where. Oh, that's when everything was quiet, quiet, child. I done held so many secrets for you this year, bitch. Yes, you did. Yes, girl, you I did. held so many. But bitch, let it be me, girl. Yes, yes. Oh. Oh, Chi Chi, you finally got off your boring ass line. Girl, Craig, bite me, pussy this punk. <laughs> You probably hey, got your boring ass line. No, it was with my sister and my mom and them. So, you know, the people like to see them. So I try to incorporate them with my life or what I got going on. But why would you be, why would, why you took today? I was having a moment. When I left today, I left set today. And I met my friends in the house. When I left, left set today. today, why? What do you, wait, wait, wait. You left before you were done filming? No, I had already did what oh. I needed to do. So after oh. me doing what I needed to do, Bitch, I was having a moment in the car today. Like, I was just like, just like, bitch, just, I don't know. Like, I was, my my emotions was everywhere today in the car. I just kept taking deep breaths because I'm like, I'm, I'm like you said, I'm nervous on how they're going to put it together. But I'm not really nervous about anything because this is what we do every day, all day when we together. You know what I'm saying? But, but the, and, that, and that's true. But the thing is, we, we don't have control over the editing. You know what I'm saying? So right, I don't know right. how they're going to cut and put things together. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's just different because, like, when you when we're doing a live, you're sitting down. It's different seeing yourself walking, talking, gesturing. You know what I'm saying? I done got into it with Madison a couple times on camera. Like, I'm just, <laughs> like we arguing and debating about shit. You know what I'm right. saying? So just curious to see how that's going to look and how people are going to perceive it because... From my from my perspective and her perspective, she and I argue because we're both passionate. You, you mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? And sometimes our passion is opposite. So I'm mm -hmm. passionate about something over here. She's passionate about something over here. And so it can look like, you know what I'm saying? Like we, we it, try it to can look like what it ain't. It can look like what it's not. And you know what I'm saying? And then once but, the viewers see it, then they can be all like, oh well, you know. You know, but listen, 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 well seasoned girl. By you being a well seasoned girl, you don't let none of that fuck with you. And she always right. tell me, she said at the end of the day, we are all friends and we are all family. So no matter right. what the situation may be, they see it, but we know the truth. And see what happens mm -hmm. in reality TV or what happens in TV shows, period. Dumb hoes let the people in the comments or the people in life tear their friendship up. A bitch can't right. tell me that you said this or a bitch can't tell me that you said this because bitch, I know I know what Craig will say and I know what Craig won't say. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. So we right. can't let the people fuck up what we already what we already done built as a mm -hmm. friend, uh, as family or as a team right. together. Right. Mm -hmm. And the end goal is 
T.S. Madison doing what T.S. Madison doing, and then the end goal is for everybody to branch out and, you know, do their own little thing. We all came from T.S. Madison, and we all helped her, and we all, you know, branched around and did our own thing. So, right. my thing is, like, I was just, I don't know, like, the last couple of days, I'm like, bitch, this, this, I just really want to see what it looks like. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's my thing. I don't... I, I ask how I'm how I'm doing in the scene. They say it's good, but like you said, it's all about how they chop and slice and they place it together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck how I put the whole feel. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't. So let me see. Kimberly but, says, Craig, meant to email you to tell you that Book of Jewels contributes to my decision to go back and get my DBA. Wow. Congratulations. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, I mean, for me, like, for me, my biggest thing is um, having a presence on TV. I hope that it just inspires people to find my work, like the work that I do before I met Madison, because it will hopefully it will enrich them. So hopefully being on television will lead them to that stuff and it will enrich them in other ways, whether it's them finding my YouTube channel and me talking about having a pescatarian or mostly plant-based diet. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully they'll stumble upon, upon something, whether it's a book or the greeting cards or whatever, that will enrich Girl, them. Girl, pussy ass ho, pussy ass old ho, you got this ho, stop. Y'all hoes be killing me, this thing. Y'all hoes don't work hard. You get what I'm saying? This right. is, this you don't work hard. And this is what, you, this was in your cards for this shit to happen. Yeah, so, yeah, bitch, yeah. don't get, don't get to the end, don't get to the, don't get to the heaven gates and be like, well, girl, do I really want to go in heaven? Do I want to go in heaven? Yeah. And, and I'm, and I'm bitch, gonna be honest with you. Open the door and walk in that hole. Mike W said yes and enrich that bank account. Amen. Right. <laughs> um, I think this will help bridge communities. Yes, but you know, but also, you know, I can understand too when, like, I never understood before, like when people say, um, somebody can be afraid of success. Like, I never understood that, but there was a point where I understood what that meant to like be afraid. It's not so much the success. It's the, it's the attention that comes with the success that you're afraid of. Or that you see, that's I what I was having. And that's why I was having a moment today about in the car. Like, so you broke you know, down and was crying. No, I wasn't crying. I was just having a moment to myself. Like I was just, you know, like to have to get out of the house, to have a brush of fresh, the breath of fresh air with different people. It was different. Always, because I'm always surrounded by Madison. I'm always around TA. So for me, just to get out of the house and get a breath of fresh air, not in the car with her, just be with some other people outside of work and everything. It was just like, whew, it was like a woosa. And it just right. came on me like, like, bitch, this shit is really going on. And this shit is really happening. You know what I'm saying? Know, and um, Everything that she talked about, everything that me and her like share secretly, or everything that we talked about personally, like just to see it manifest, like is is unbelievable. Because we went from we went from doing porn, you know what I'm saying? She went from doing porn, and bitch, we made like we crossed over, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. every avenue that she did, bitch, I was always there, even though you I probably were. wasn't there physically. But I was always yeah. there because this is something that we always talked about. Like we always dream. And we always, she always drank and she always wanted this. You know what I'm saying? So just for it to see it happening, it's like unbelievable. And mm. by me just being a part of it, it's just like unbelievable. And by me and Craig, is unbelievable. Because I really do like Craig. And I really do look up to Craig. And like, you know, like, <laughs> I tell people this. No, no, I tell people this all the time. Like, I tell, I tell everybody, like, I do look up to Craig. I, I watched you. You know what I'm saying? Like I watch the way you move. Like it's just certain things that you know what I like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah. this shit is really happening for us, and I'm really right. happy. Right. And right. I just hope that we don't let no outsiders fuck up what we built on the inside. Exactly. 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 I agree. So, that's just my little piece. So, story. like I said, I've I've now started incorporating it in my prayers. Like I pray about it at night. You know. Um. You know. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, but yeah, it's you're you're right. All of that. You got this, Craig. Don't I mean I think the more that we the more the more that we dwell on it, the more that it's stuck in our mind. And the more that you try to act, it ain't gonna happen for you. But if you just let everything flow natural, bitch, just flow natural. Mm-hmm. My thing is what kills me with them. Bitch, if I got emotions, the emotions I gave y'all last week, y'all hoes can't get there this week because I feel like it. 
That's just it. So they Where want are you, you at right now? Like, you at the house? Uh, uh-uh, I left. They want you to sometimes they want you to go. They want you to backtrack. And I'm like, girl, y'all thought I smoked a lot of weed, girl. So give me the scenario. And I'm like, well, girl, it, it's not going to be the same emotion that I had last week. So I'm learning how to just try to. Yeah, yeah, to me, we'll play too much. <laughs> no, they play too much. But yeah, I, you know, so I'm going to get my COVID test again tomorrow because every Friday we got to get. So, COVID. bitch, I got to take a COVID test every week. Every, every Friday. Week. Bro, so I'm I'm good for this week. week. I, I take my, my COVID test Monday. You're going to get yours Monday. Yeah, because we already took ours for let. We took ours for the next week, so we already we we are we gonna always be in a week in advance because right. we this back there. I mean, y'all had switched that other time, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I just I don't know. Like I won't say I'm scared. Like it's just like I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't know what it's gonna look like, and you don't know the outcome. But I'm just going in. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> you so stupid. We should laugh at that comment. <laughs> Somebody said, can you find something for Keanu? Okay, let's change the subject. No, y'all can't. No, bitch, I'm listening. Go ahead. I'm just saying, when you get the opportunity, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's and it also involves around it also it, it, it end up with friendship, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. because I've been knowing her since I was 16 years old. And just to see the vision, to see the dream that this is shit that we always discuss, and to see the more people came mm-hmm. on board. And the more people that she let and added to the roster, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just phenomenal. But like I said, we as we as a team and we as a people, we can't let the outside to break up what we already established. Right. And you know, that's what happens. Like, right. I ain't going to do that. Oliver and I had a conversation the other day. You know, he rode back with me on uh, Tuesday. And uh, we were talking about it. You know, it's just, it's important to just harness ego. Ego is really at the center of all of it. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. as different opportunities come for everybody, mm-hmm. like you got to understand that like things, things, things should change for you. To mm-hmm. change. Um, you should have more opportunities. You know what I'm saying? So you may not be readily available every time, you know, Madison wants you to do this, that, and the third. Mm-hmm. Same for me. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's really going to require like planning, and understanding for us to still do stuff together, to like work on different projects together. Like the mm-hmm. thing that I've been wanting her to do for the longest is this documentary. But if I'm working on, like if, because for me, one of the things that I really want to see happen is this thing that Derek J and I do. I want that to, I really want that to be picked up by like a major streaming service. Like right now we just stream it on uh, YouTube. Mm-hmm. I want it to be on something bigger than that. I want it to be on like iHeartRadio or, Amazon Prime or or Apple TV. You know what I'm saying? Like we have those conversations, um, and and we actually have pam like we have producers that actually do and they cut a check. You know what I'm saying? Like I really think that that could be huge because there's nothing like that right now with black gay men. Like having these kinds of conversations about things that center on black LGBTQ issues. And like the people in the comments are saying, like they've learned so much from watching my stuff, from watching Madison. You know, watching me and Derek J. You know, so I think that would be that would be huge. Even like a Netflix, yeah, I would be fine with a Netflix. You know, I think it that needs to be on a major platform. You know, those conversations. Um, so, Indeed. and I think this reality TV show could really make that possible because, again, Derek J and I filmed. You know, we had conversations about this on the show on, on you know on the thing that we taped uh, last week. I uh, um, to me, honestly, truthfully. They need to hear everybody's story. Everybody's mm-hmm. stories need to be like everybody. I feel like my story, my story, your story, and Tia's story is different. Mm-hmm. And that's why I've been saying to you. That's why I was pushing you. Yeah, and that's why I tell the people. I tell the people all the time. I said Craig and Tia's really pushed me. And you know, because when my grandma died, I really didn't have a sister direction. I really didn't know where I was going, and I just really just started going hard on YouTube. Like, you know, what I'm saying just talking to people more. Because everybody's story is different. You wasn't molested. T.S. wasn't molested. I was molested. Everybody has a different story. And we reached a different certain amount of people. Even though, although we reached to the same people, but we reached to different people and we delivered yeah. the message differently. 
You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm on my platform. The, re- the reason why I created my platform because I was molested. I didn't have a voice. And by me being younger and by you telling, you know, your older siblings or you telling people that's older than you, everybody thought it was funny. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I created my key sessions for people to come through, share their voice, you know what I'm saying? Share what happened to them and find an outlet. I mean, find an outlet by laughing about something that traumatized us to make it, you know what I'm saying, not so much traumatizing, you know what I'm saying? So I really want to take my thing like to the next level, even probably like being, like opening an organization for the younger youth to come live and stay and where we teach, I would have you, you there as a mentor to help them, you know what I'm saying? Like I want a big place where they could come stay and live and we could teach them everyday tools to live in the real world. And it right. don't matter what happen if you're gay. It don't matter. It don't happen. You don't have to be gay or straight. You can just be an adolescent and you don't have no guidance. And we'll te- we'll still make you go to school and we'll still help you get guidance and do all the things that you need to do. Well, I'll tell you now, I'm just what I'm saying. I'm laughing. I'm trying to keep my face together. They are so but crazy. I see them in the comments, bitch. Right. And I would have Craig come through and mentor. And I would have Oliver come through and teach them if they want to do any like creative arts. I would have TS come through if they're trans or, you know, if they're going through, they want to be trans, but they don't know. I would have just the people that in my life that they always gave me words of encouragement. They always encouraged me when I didn't encourage myself. Even though when I wanted to give up, he was like, oh, don't give up. But you stayed on me about that Patreon. Who says, oh, get this Patreon. Do this, do this. Do that, do that. So you know what I'm saying? Like it's happening and we want shit to happen fast, but we have to wait. And that's my problem. Right. I want shit to happen rapid and I gotta wait. But listen, when th- when this shit happens, I'm gonna hit the ground running. Fuck him like, damn, he doing another project? Yep, sure am. <laughs> like, like I want, I want, I want shit on television. Like I've been working on mm-hmm. before you say anything, Carlson. I've been working on a, a manuscript, <laughs> not a manuscript, but a script. I, I combined my first and second books together. So I've been writing like a television series. Like I want, I want a television series. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to yeah. do that. Like I want to do, uh, it's a lot of stuff that I want to do. And I want to get into acting, because I want to get into, you know, like just doing, just really just focus, really just maintaining on me, like for, uh, for perfecting my craft. You know what I'm saying? Learn how to, Learn how to just learn how to act like professionally. You know what I'm saying? I really want to well, say see, that. that's something you can be doing now. You can be taking your acting lessons. Like, what you waiting for? Yeah, I'm a. Um, you do that now in preparation. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, I'll be having the, you know, I'll be doing the web series and shit. Like, I'll be doing little small stuff. I feel I like. I was just about to say that. I just seen you a um, commercial, uh, like a sniff of what you just did. I think when that, you- I think that the small shit will lead me up for the big time. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So. I really wanted to start acting. I just really wanted to, you know, like this, to, the, you know, like to develop my craft. You know, even though my craft mm-hmm. is natural, but I just wanted to learn how to do even though it's natural, but I want to learn how to really read scripts, learn how to really be professional when it comes to time to be professional. Not so much natural, but, you know, professional more. Yeah, because you ain't professional now at all. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> I'm trying I, to learn how to get I, there. You know I, what I'm saying? And I bitch, we're not because how we talk. Girl, you know, they talk about me all the time, bitch. Or how, just that accent from Florida. It's that. not that. It's no, it's no, when you went to Hampton and you a girl of books. See, I wasn't the girl that was in the books. I'm just being for real. I wasn't the girl that was in the books. Bitch, I was the girl that was running the street. I was the girl that was getting money. I was that type of girl. Like, the bitch, fast was, life. The fast life. How we grew up. You know. Yeah, like, that was that was me when I was younger. And sometimes I do the, I, I mean, I truly regret that I wasn't able to go to college or I wasn't able to finish high school because bitch, it's some of the things that I want to do. And like, bitch, you know, some, some things you really can't do because you don't have the credential. But like I said, mm-hmm. in my life, sometimes it's not about being qualified for the job. It's just about bitch stepping out on faith and bitch believing in yourself and doing it. Mm-hmm. You don't have to go to college to be successful. Right. 
Craig, why you got us on mute? I had to say something to my baby. We, we want to uh, hear the conversation too. No, he's asking. He, he was he was falling asleep over there, so I was just you know trying to see if he was still gonna. Uh, not cook, <laughs> I read the lip. What I said. <laughs> I read. I read exactly what you said. What did Craig, I say? um, we gonna uh, we gonna work it out. I feel like we are gonna work it out, and I feel like uh, they're gonna like me and your bond. They're gonna like. I mean, they already live for us already now, Craig. You get what right. I'm saying? Like they already live. Yeah, but, like 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 the thing is, because you and I haven't filmed since March. Right. I mean, we filmed the other day, but it was all of us. Like, I'm yeah. I mean, one on one. Mm -hmm. Um. So, like, you know, I'm curious, you know, to see that kind of stuff. Like, like I want them to film me, you, and Oliver, like, you know, in the car or whatever. But I, um, to me, I think it's gonna be fine. Like, we just don't. We don't need the people. We don't need the people. Like, we don't need the. Like our shit ain't on. Like we ain't on trial. Like we all started off as friends, and mm -hmm. we all already have a relationship. Dumb hoes right. don't know that. You know what I'm saying? They only see what we. They only see what we put out. That's right. why majority of the time I try to do come tipping y'all lies. Say hey niece, what's the tea? You know what I'm saying? Try to interact, even though if I don't catch it, I do at least try to tiptoe and say hey, how you doing? So they can see like okay, you know, she doing his thing, but he do come in here. He he do support Craig. Just like T.S. and Oliver, you know what I'm saying? This right. shit like that. Right. But no, somebody asked, uh, would I write like a series? Yes. So there's a series that I've already written that's already on my computer. Um, a friend of mine and I, we wrote it. It's based on my stage play, A Day in the Life. So I have that. But now I'm working on turning the first two books into a television series. The first two books are about my life. So I'm, I'm working on the script for that. So those are two different projects that I would like to see produced. And then, of course, I would love to go back to, excuse me, producing my stage plays that I produced before I was ever streaming. Like, there was no streaming at that time. Like, A Day in the Life sold out. I would love to put that on stage again. I have another stage play that I've written called um, Someone Else's Child. And it's about three grandmothers that are raising their grandkids under three separate circumstances. And, and then it's a comedy, but it, it begs the question, why so few parents are parenting and why so many grandparents are raising someone else's child, namely their their children, their grandchildren. But it's also it talks about the social structure and how there's a, how there's very little support for senior women, mostly who are raising these grandkids, because like my mom, she was raising my, my two nephews because my sister was on drugs for years. So it's based loosely on my family. But my mom was raising my two nephews because my sister was on drugs. And at the time, my mother was still working. And she couldn't get WIC. She couldn't get food stamps because they kept telling her she made too much money. But it was just like, but I'm now having to buy Pampers again. I'm now having to pay for daycare. I'm now, you know what I'm saying? And there was no, there was nothing in the social structure to assist people in that predicament. You know what I'm saying? Like there, there should be, there should be uh, organizations or social services for, for people that are raising someone else's child. And a lot of times they go off of your income and it's just like, well, no, I'm stepping in for somebody else. So um, anyway, yeah. Now they do have services um, in a certain extent for that. They probably um, do now, but at the time, yeah, they you know, they didn't have it. So I still would like, I mean, it probably would have to be tweaked. Certain things would probably have to be tweaked, um, you know, to make it current. But I think the bones of the show are still mm. good because there still are a lot of grandparents that are raising their grandchildren. Because And so in this play, in this particular play, these three women are raising their grandkids because one, her grand, her daughter was on drugs. The other, her daughter was super young. She was like 14. It's a dramatic comedy. The other one, her grand, her daughter was like 14 when she started having kids. And then the last one, she was raising her grandchild because her daughter had had a nervous breakdown. So they were mm -hmm. raising their grandkids under uh, three separate circumstances. But they all, they, they come together, they meet these three women. Well, two of them know each other. And then they meet this third woman. But yeah. You see, that's what I want to do too. I want to get better at uh which I don't write. I want to get I want to get better at just telling people my ideas and seeing how would they write it into like a little screenplay or write it into something. Because I want to do majority of what I want to do, I want to do like make shit. I want to have real life issues, but make it comical, but you still learn from the message. And by it being mm -hmm. 
real life issues, the comical is the message, but we learn to laugh about it. You get what I'm saying? If that makes sense. Right. Right. Because you don't want everything to be so. You don't want everything to be so dry. You don't want everything to be so blah. So that's why uh, I come in and I just make you know. Bitch, I like to laugh. Like bitch, I feel like laughing is for the soul. You know what I'm saying? Like it's good to laugh. Mm -hmm. So I want to learn how to get better at writing. Uh, I want to get better. Just make like try to build my whole my whole production team. Really, to be honest and truthfully, I want to like start my own little production. While I, I take the things really that you taught me. Take the things that she has taught me and put it in my own perspective. You know what right. I'm saying? Learning how to do all of that by myself. If I could have my own way, I would love to have like a development deal with like a Netflix or an Apple TV so that they would just pay me to go and create my own project. So then I would create the two television shows that I just told you about. I would mm -hmm. create the, um, I would do the thing with me and Derek J. Like I would develop that. I like I have other like I would develop different projects. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what I really would love. Like a development deal. That would be crazy. But I think at the end goal, we all gonna get what we want. Right. We just gotta keep working. Keep working. I would hard. love to tell uh I would love to tell another story that I would love to tell if I had a development deal was um to tell Byatt Rustin's life. And I know a lot of people may not know who that is. Yes, like 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 Janet Mock has with Netflix. But like a lot of people may not know who Byron Rustin is, but Byron Rustin was a black gay man who was out in the 70s. He was out mm. in the 70s and he was Dr. King's right hand man. He was openly gay and he helped organize the Freedom Riders. Like he was he was the backbone to the civil rights movement. But a lot of people don't know that story because he was openly gay. So I would love to tell his story. Yeah, and a lot of people ain't gonna know that story because guess what you said? He's openly gay. <laughs> he was openly gay. And you know, back then, they didn't give a, they didn't care too much for gay people back then. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, they really don't care too much now. That's why I stand I stand tall and let them hoes know, bitch, I don't give a fuck. Bitch, but if you know it is what it is. It's more accepting now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was out to a, to a certain, de certain degree and a certain de uh uh. To a certain aspect of it, it's, it's more important. I mean, well, it's more acceptable. They don't give a fuck about us. And that's why I was just talking about all my life. Like, I made my life for people to understand that, bitch, we here. I made my life for people to understand that, bitch, all gays are not dick hungry. I made mm -hmm. my life for people to understand that, bitch, we can have civil conversations. Bitch, I made my life for everybody to come in and click and, bitch, to get you a piece. It's educational. It's educational. If you don't know what's going on, bitch, type your question, bitch. We're going to break it down for you, bitch. And if you still don't know what's going on, I don't know how to explain it even more deeper than that. But and, see, we telling all Byron, and, and see, telling his story, Byron Russell's story, it wouldn't just educate Black folks, but it would also educate Black gay folks. Because there's a lot of Black mm -hmm. gay folks that have no clue who he is. You know, and I just think, and I've thought this for a very long time, the more you know, the taller you stand. Mm -hmm. And I think you would have, I think we would see more black gay people or black LGBTQ people living in their truth if they, if they knew this rich legacy, this rich history that, from which we come from. You know what I'm saying? A lot, of a lot of gay folks don't know the people that came before us, like the Langston Hughes, the Zora Neale Hurstons, you know, all these people. I remember Langston Hughes. Huh? I remember Langston Hughes because when I was in uh in fifth grade, some of his poems my teacher used to write on the board. We had to like, yes, yeah, so I remember Langston Hughes. Like that was mm -hmm. Langston but I'm Hughes. Saying, like, but the Jordan more that we grow and the more that you do your thing with you and Derry J, and the more that we sit here on our platform and the more that we do our thing, the people already know who we is, Craig. And I, that's why I've been trying to be consistent. Like at first, I didn't really have a, a designated area or a, a designation where I really wanted to go. You know what I'm saying? When I, w I just used to get on my life and I used to talk. But now, bitch, yeah, I'm just... You have, you have to use every moment. It's okay to laugh and cut up, because I laugh and cut up. But, you know, it's important to you, especially when you have people watching. When you have people watching, you mm -hmm. have to... You have to serve them. You have to serve them. You know what I'm saying? In, in some way, you have to serve them, because there's a reason that they're there watching. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean that they're watching because they think you're funny or they think you're handsome. I mean, there's a reason that the universe aligns so that they're sitting there watching you on that screen. 
So it's important to, to, to say something and not that you know it all and not that you're going to be there trying to be didactic, like you're trying to teach a lesson. But even if it was like, just like you starting this conversation saying that you had a moment today and you kind of were kind of overwhelmed, like that's a teachable moment. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? Just like I've shared stories about my car being impounded. Like those are teachable moments because the very thing that you've walked through, somebody else is about to slit their wrist because they don't even see the other side of it. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever it is, or somebody is stressed out because they're bogged down behind bills. We've all been behind the eight ball of, of an eviction notice. Not everybody, but you don't understand what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right, right. We've all been in a bind. Nate, I'm mm-hmm. in a bind. But you got <laughs> a bad blue out, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Got a bad blue out. But when you got you a bad blue out for that shit and grow up, you even go to college. <laughs> right. But when you share from your experience, you're only sharing from your experience and how mm-hmm. you got through something or how. Mm-hmm. You know, because the lesson isn't just for you. That's one of the Mm -hmm. things that I've learned. The lesson is not just for you. The lesson Mm -hmm. is for whom is for whomever you share it with, whomever you make privy to that information. So Mm -hmm. I think that's why even before I ever started streaming, I was like that with people in my personal life. I would share with them and tell them like different things that I was going through because I knew that it wasn't just for me. Like the lesson wasn't just for me. Somebody around me was going to need it. So even if you were just diagnosed with breast cancer and then because now we're in breast cancer awareness we're month, cancer but, month. Right. But then you may you may be in remission. You know what I'm saying? You may be in remission. Now it's your responsibility to share your story to help somebody else get through it. You know Period. what I'm saying? But a lot of times yeah. people covet those stories. They don't share their stories because it's like, I want to be private. I don't want anybody to know. But the lesson wasn't just for you. And I'm not saying that you got to sit down and tell your business to everybody, but even if you're just sharing it with a handful of people, it wasn't just for you. So October 29th, I'm having an open forum. And I think Samson said he's going to come in and, and tip in. But I'm having an open forum about molestation. Hmm. Hmm. Because, you know, me and you started off this conversation and we never really got finished it. So Because um, you were high. I'm telling you right now, I want you to come in on the okay, 29th. On the yeah, it's going to be at 8 o'clock. It's going to be on the Thursday. And we just going to just gonna talk about molestation. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Because, you know, and, most people... And, and so, at some point this month, I'm going to have um, a conversation with um, two, two, two women, one of which is a breast cancer survivor. Um, because what some of you may not know, I just learned this yesterday. You know, again... This month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but mm-hmm. typically they raise money through those walks, those breast cancer walks. But because of COVID, they're not having these walks. Donations are down 50%. I just learned that yesterday. Damn. So someone contacted me and said, hey, um, we really would like to be able to come on your live and have a conversation about it. So for those of you that have been following me for a while, you know, I always try to attach myself with some sort of a, a cause or charity or something. And then we all come together and donate money or whatever. Um, so that's going to be the one that we're going to do this month. And so 50, 50 donations are down 50 percent. They have a sweatshirt that they're um, that they're selling to try to raise money to try to, you know, fill in the gap. Because And, and, and I didn't even really think about it. It's just like, well, yeah, because of COVID, people aren't really people aren't really walking doing these walks. So, um, and typically people donate when they're on the walk itself. You know what I'm saying? You donate when you're, you know, when you're raising money or whatever. So, um, we're going to do that at some point. Y'all, um, I'm actually trying to put something together now for, um, breast cancer. Cause if, uh, George's mom is a survivor, um, my aunt is a survivor. Also, it's domestic violence, um, aware this month too. Yeah, it is domestic violence too. Yeah, and we, I'm having, have a, um, aware this month too. So I'm putting stuff together for that throughout the month as well. So. That'll be good though. And then we supposed to be going um to down with George Mom at because they're doing a um instead of doing, you know, like you just said, they do a um like a walk every year. So this year they're doing a um a drive-through parade and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So I'm going I'm going that weekend. So we're going all up to support her and stuff like that. So I'll right. put something together for the actual weekend. So that'd be good. Right. Yeah. So once 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 we have the date, so they're going to send me a sweatshirt. It, it, like I said, it's a breast cancer wearing a sweatshirt. 
Uh, I can't remember what it says on it. She she was telling me about it yesterday, but I can't remember right now what it says on it. But they're going to send me the sweatshirt. Once I get the sweatshirt, I'm going to wear the sweatshirt on the live, and then I'm going to bring them on the conversation, just like I got Chi-Chi and um, Keon. I'm going to bring them on the live. One of them, I'm going to ask her to share her story about how she found out she was diagnosed and, you know, what she did and all that stuff. And the other girl is her friend who was a support system. So we'll talk, we'll share the story. And then if those who can, who are interested, will donate money to, they have a specific cause that they're, that they're giving to. So um, we'll do that. And somebody posted in here that black women are 40% more likely to die from breast cancer than white women. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Oh, look at y'all. I'm so proud of y'all slaying hoes. Y'all get y'all shit together. Yes. But yeah, so look, I'm about to get off here because I'm ready to go back downstairs with my man. Right, right and I'm gonna go situate my situation. Oh, you, you giving him some? I'm gonna situate my situation. Oh, she's gonna get her corn hole, bro. She's get five. You muted us. Is George there tonight? George is not here tonight. Oh, so you're just situating your situation. I ain't never I said George not here tonight, but that mean I'm not going over there. Oh, so Ooh. you may be irrigating your system. <laughs> situating your situation is different from irrigating your situation. She's going to dish out her corn snacks so she can pull up on her man and she can sit what, down what, on it. What, 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 what's she going to do, <laughs> Gigi? Dish out her corn snatch. <laughs> Look, as Nan says, she's going to dish out her snorcher. Ooh. Her snorcher. She's going to dish out her whiskey. She's going to dish out her wop. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Mm. Yes, indeed. But uh, but yeah, but yeah, I gotta get up and go do this COVID test tomorrow. And uh, if you if you order in books tonight, they will go out tomorrow. I always try to get the books out on Friday because FedEx doesn't deliver or ship on Saturday or Sunday. So if you order tonight or tomorrow, I always try to get them shipped out on Friday. Um, so that you know they're already in transit. But anyway, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. My girl, uh, I said this earlier. I did a live earlier today because I wanted to talk about that debate from the other night. But um, my girl, Thomas Thompson Bling Boutique, she sent me some smell goods. And she sent some for me and Derek J. I got, I got to give Derek J his. I haven't even told Yeah, she sent me some too a couple she weeks did. ago. She did. I'm going to probably, I was going to say I'll probably open it up on my Patreon. But no, I'll probably do a live at some point and I'll open it on my live so, you know, everybody can see it. Yeah, we gotta um, uh, we gotta do a lot together soon. Right now, wait. Didn't you say something you wanted us to do a mukbang? Yeah, but I'm already doing that with Oliver, so me and you gonna have to do something else. Wait a minute, you just asked me to, and Oliver to do it with you the other day. Well, girl, me and Oliver are already doing it. Me and you gonna have to do something else. I'm telling when you, when y'all doing it? It gonna have to be probably one day. No, no. When are you and Oliver doing the mukbang? It's gonna be soon because we filming. Okay, I'll come to that. They don't want you in. Are you listening to me, ho? They don't want you in there. Oh, y'all filming it for the reality show. They don't want you in there, girl. Oh, so me and you got to do. Eating, I don't want to be eating like that on TV for real. Mm -mm, no, I don't want to do that on TV. Yeah, y'all. So I do it on the so I ain't talking about that. Really but anyway, girl. <laughs> but yeah, they want me and you to do something else, so bitch. And yeah, I think they, 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 yeah, they, they know I don't. They, they know I'm not for all of that. Mm -hmm. But I think me and you, what we'll do is gonna be cute. You're, they already told you what we're gonna do. I suggested something. They said, "Oh my god, that would be so cute." Let me end this live so you can tell me what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, y'all. All right, y'all have an amazing night. Thank you for thank you Carmen for I, Okay, thank you for supporting what I do. Thank you guys for purchasing books. The link is running on the bottom. Thank you for to you guys that are um. Subscribe to my Patreon. Um, if you're subscribed to the Writer and the Chef's Entertainment Review, it's going to drop tomorrow at noon. Thank you for those of you who subscribe to that. And thank you for those of you who just send stuff to the Cash App. I really appreciate it. Tomorrow is $5 Friday. Hey, Emery. Hey, boy. Hey. Uh, brush your teeth, floss your teeth, brush your tongue. Keon, make sure you do those things when you go situate your situation. Bye. <laughs>